What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Photoshop style packs, specifically a style pack that I created that will transform your plain text into bootleg style graphics with the click of a button. Let's go. What's up everyone? So if you watched my last video, I basically broke down a bunch of bootleg t-shirt designs and specifically showed you uh, what fonts were being used and sort of tried to mimic some of the effects that were also being used in those t-shirt designs. So after I put that out, <clears throat> I gave it a little bit more thought and I figured it might be cool to basically create a sort of package where all you guys would have to do is click little icons and it would just automatically change the text to all these different bootleg styles, right? So I basically spent some time over the weekend and put together um, a styles pack for you guys. This is for Photoshop, it's an ASL file. Um, it's really easy to use. There's 15 different styles in it that will just automatically change your text to all of these like authentic looking bootleg text styles. Um, I basically just went on the internet, found a bunch of different bootleg shirts that I thought were dope and tried to mimic the style of the text so that you guys would be able to uh, basically recreate it with the click of a button. So um, what I want to do with this video is tell you guys about that for one and for two, show you how exactly style packs work um, in case you're not you know, sure about that. It's really simple and um, I'm just gonna jump into my computer right now and show you guys how to do it. Let's go. So this is the file that you're going to get um, when you click the download link and you go through and um, get the file sent to you and all that. It's just a simple ASL file. I don't know why it has this little like, what definitely says like warning right there. Uh, <laughs> There's nothing to be alarmed about. There's nothing wrong with the file. I just, yeah, I genuinely don't know what says that. It might not even say that for you. It could be something on my computer. No idea. Anyways, so you get the file, right? You know, it's on your desktop or wherever. All you have to do is just drag it to Photoshop and um, basically if you have text, like what you want to do is just like, you know, for example, color, you know, have this text be whatever color you want. I mean, let's just stick with this red for now, but you wanna make sure it doesn't have a, a color overlay on it. You wanna just have like, it truly just be this color, right? So there's no actual styles being applied to it other than just like the natural color. So you just have to double click on the text and then up at the top over here on the left side of this panel, it says styles. And since we dragged the icon into Photoshop, we have the styles already loaded here in this folder. And just click this arrow to drop it down. And there's 15 different styles here. So literally you can just like go through on like your bootleg style t-shirt or whatever it is, and just start clicking things and see like what looks good. Like, you know, that would work. Cool, you know, I've got this diamond sort of gold bling looking one here that I think I had at least one or two comments about people wanting to see how to do this this style the reason I'm, I was hesitant to do it is because for one it's sort of more reminiscent of like the cash money um, era like it, it usually applies more to like album cover artwork like back in the day with like juvenile and like you know, whatever, like BG and all those dudes, like Young Money, like that whole era. It's it's not necessarily reminiscent of true like 90s bootleg stuff, but it still looks dope, you know? So like, I wanted to include it. Um, what else do we got here? It's like this one, this I actually found a Pharrell t-shirt, like bootleg shirt that was super dope and it had like this cool blue gradient and white and kind of orange and it had like a little shimmery thing going so that was the source for that um this one this is just like a classic you know like hot lava fiery kind of vibe uh, we've got this one which is 
similar actually to the example I showed in that last video. Um, I've seen a ton of, of bootleg shirts that have this sort of like brick bubble, like kind of desaturated red vibe. Um, it works, it would work really well with this one. Let's see how it looks on smalls too. And I'm just like, look how easy this is. It just, <laughs> and you're like done. That, I mean, that looks pretty dope. I would be happy with that. I'll probably change the background color. Though, so it fits. That's the other thing you gotta keep in mind. Like, if you're doing this stuff, like, don't don't just like, see like, look how much better that looks. Don't just like change the text and not mess with the rest of the design. Like, make sure everything is cohesive, right? We always want things to like flow together naturally. So let's see what, what else we got in this pack. Um, there's this one. Um, man, I wish I could remember what the exact shirt was that used this, but it looks super dope. It's just like, this will work good for like, sort of more like, mm, like upbeat, kind of cartoony, maybe stuff like maybe something not so serious as the look Biggie's got on his face in this one. Um, but you know, it's super bright and vibrant, so like a sunset sort of pattern. So these are all named by the way, if you're like unsure what you're gonna be clicking on, but it's so easy. Like this one I think is called Sunset Gradient, Bootleg Style, Brick Bubble. Yeah, they're all like named Hellfire. This one's cool. This is like a glossy Americana type vibe. Like I could see this working really well um, with anything that was like a, a very colorful photo. Um, or even if the whole thing was black and white and you just left like the text as a pop of color, that would look super dope. Um, this one's cool. This is like straight up like chrome, almost sort of like futuristic kind of thing. Um, on this one, like if you have, I think if I'm thinking about this correctly, yeah. So right now it's on multiply. If it's on normal, if the blend mode is on normal over here, it'll it'll become the color of the text. So I have it right now set up in multiply, which basically will automatically make it like see-through um, or just black in this case. But if you wanna change uh, the color, it's just as easy as like changing the color of the text. So that's just sort of this cool, slightly chrome, like glossy metallic vibe, right? So let's see what else we got here. Where'd we leave off? Okay, we got this one, which is pretty dope. That's kind of, it kind of actually flows kind of well with this one because it's sort of like, you know, like alleyway, like street. It's a, it's a diamond like grid, metallic sort of like gritty uh, vibe there. What else do we got? Let's see, let's keep cruising. Um, this one, I think I called this I called it Hove bootleg style because it was specifically from the super dope um, 90s Rockefeller Hove uh, t-shirt. And so that's where I kind of came up with this style from. With this, with all these, like there's definitely license to mess around stuff. Um, you know, if you don't really know what you're doing, I wouldn't recommend messing around a ton with this because I did sort of set it up to look a certain way. but you know, obviously, if you download it, it's yours, do whatever you want with it. It's just kind of a word of caution. But on this, like, you'd like bump up the gradient so it's right in the middle. Um, you know, it's it's sort of impossible with styles to make them like automatically work with whatever the text or logo is. Um, I just sort of formatted these to work well with um, the bootleg fonts that I provided you guys in that last video. Like that was sort of the idea here. So everything sort of works together, but it'll work with um, any sort of, you know, kind of mm, chunkier text or like bigger text, which most bootleg shirts tend to be. So that was the idea there. Let's see what else we got here. Um, we got this, this is like, you know, if you want to get real cartoon with it, like I can see, um, <laughs> do a, you know, this looks like something Cameron would have used or something, or like, you know, Lil' Kim, sort of more like bubbly, cartoony, you know, if like Nicki Minaj did a throwback bootleg shirt, this would be perfect for her. Um, just something a little bit more light, sort of like, reminds me of like bubblegum or something. 
Uh, let's see what else is in this. We've got the uh, this one, and this is I call this blue magic uh, bootleg style, and this one was um, basically I vibed off this other T-shirt that had um, it had a blue it had like blue sort of like um, I don't even know what to call this. It's just like a crunchy sort of texture. Um, it had one of the text. Uh, in the shirt was blue and the other one was red. So I made a blue and red one for this pack. So it just sort of goes together. So like, I mean, if you just took this gradient off altogether, like, and then maybe like, instead of having this cane be, um, this is just the old <clears throat> um, Biggie shirt that I did a while back. You know, you could like make, kind of change up the colors so everything fits the vibe, you know? make the cane sort of like red or this yes yeah, chain is cane kind of a red color I would probably in this case make the background red as well like yeah bro I mean look it just changes like everything so much like that just went from being one design to being something completely different in the matter of like you know four four steps so you know, just having this 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 pack of of um, styles that you can switch the the text up, I feel like is really gonna help you guys out. Um, what else do we got? I think this is the last one. Yeah. So this one, I put it last because I wanted to show you guys. It's a little bit different than the others because it contains a pattern that isn't seamless, which means you can't just move it around and do whatever with it. You sort of have to just keep it focused in one area and depending on what your um, logo is or text is, um, it might not work at all. And it's so it's going to work best with like long, like wide text like this. If it's something really narrow, which I, I don't recommend for bootleg shirts anyways, but like, if it's like something super narrow or if it's like a logo, like a circular circular logo or something weird, like it's not gonna work very well. But when you do apply it to like some text like this, like I'll show you guys how fucking cool this looks. You just move the pattern a little bit like so basically the idea behind Chrome stuff is like you want this line to kind of hit somewhere in the center. That's where it generally will look best. Um, yeah, and then like maybe if we change the background on this one to like some of this gray and then change Biggie to, you know, like maybe also that gray or like maybe a darker, yeah, like a darker color make the chain this like yellow color that we have here darker yeah bro I mean that chrome text and it has like this noise that I added to it also so it's like just like adds a little bit extra like grittiness to it overall and it just I don't know man to me it's just like gonna make your designs pop so much more um so that pretty much wraps it up for how to use these. Um, so one thing I want to talk to you guys about is I've made it a point to say in my previous videos, like from last month, I believe, or maybe the month before, like my goal with this channel is never to sell you guys stuff. Um, but that being said, I want to be 100% transparent with you guys and let you know that right now, with everything that's going on with like um, Corona virus uh, and in this whole entire industry shutting down um, it's definitely affected me like especially like doing specifically um, music merchandise because whole bands and festivals um, have like bands have canceled tours festivals have shut down um, so you know there's no need for new designs new merch so i am charging five bucks for this which i feel like you know like i just showed you guys it's going to change 
your design so much. It's gonna make things so much faster and easier for you guys. I feel like five bucks is worth it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to be transparent with you guys. Okay, so if you guys do wanna grab this style pack, go to my website. And like I said, I'm gonna link below, but I'll just show you guys. Um, this is my whole portfolio. If you guys ever just want to check it out. Um, but you're going to want to click downloads at the top. And it's the only thing I have right now. Um, I have a bunch of other stuff that I could put on here, but uh, they only allow a certain size of file. Like, so this is like one of the only things I can put on here, but everything else you can get at Creative Market. So it's whatever, but this is just a little thing. Um, you know, you just add it to, to the cart, it's right there, boom, check out. Um, and if you want to look at it this way, like, this money just goes directly to me and it supports me. It doesn't like creative, I, I love creative market and um, I'm really happy to be on there, but they take a really huge chunk of everything that sells. So this is kind of just a cool little way if you want to show some support for me and uh, I'll keep trying to create cool stuff like this that you guys can use. So five bucks, you know, you put in all your email, your payment information, all that, you guys have been through all this shit. So um, I just wanted to show you really quick uh, where you can find this. I so appreciate everyone who's watching these videos. The bootleg stuff is really resonating with you guys. And that wasn't something I was expecting at all with this channel. Um, it's a style that I've, I personally love, like I told you guys about that. Um, well, I did tell you about it in the last video, but I linked to it below the last video. Um, there's this book, it's called Rap Tees. And um, the last time I checked on Amazon, it, you know, and I don't know if the people just add this to their stores to like type stuff up or, or what, but it said there was like four copies of this left. Um, and it's that the link I have in in uh, below the last video, and I'll put it below this one too, goes directly to the author of this book. It's not like some random like third party. It's like, it's DJ Ross One. That's who did this book. And I'm telling you guys, like, if you like bootleg stuff at all, like whether it's, you know, you like creating bootleg artwork or you're just interested in it, if you're a collector, whatever it is, like this, fucking book is amazing like there's just pages and pages of all this different um authentic bootleg stuff this is just shit that dj ross one has collected you can go on youtube and just search dj ross one and i think he did a whole video like showing off his collection and it's fucking insane like that dude's got like a hundred thousand dollars worth of vintage t-shirts if not more like not that it's about money it's clearly not about money to that dude because he's just like an insane collector but it's really awesome he made this book i bought this years ago because i'm just a fan of of uh that style but if you guys want to pick that book up i highly recommend it so there's a link underneath this video the first link in this video is going to be for this um layer style pack that i made for you guys and then, you know, I'll have all the other links to create a market and all that stuff. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe. Um, use this time to, if you can, stay home. Um, work on, you know, your craft. Work on design stuff. You know, fucking learn Norwegian. I don't know what you guys are into out there, but um, stay safe. And don't go out if you don't have to. You know, don't. Don't um, do anything unnecessarily. I think right now we just need to just sort of stick together and, and ride this crazy shit out. So um, that's it for today. I appreciate all you guys. I will see you later. Peace.